Hello everybody, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well. It's been a while since I've done a little sit down and chat video. I actually did a poll on Instagram uh, about different subjects that uh, you might want me to talk about uh, regarding my time in Japan, mostly Japan related questions. And the six month update video was probably the most voted and this one right after is uh, what I'm going to be talking about today is what happened to my job. <laughs> um, I did want to start with a six month video, a six month update video, but I'm still waiting on a few things to make it like a more comprehensive uh, update. And I thought that I might as well talk to you guys about what happened with my job in the meantime. That way I don't have to explain it twice. Uh, I'm hoping to give you as many details as I'm allowed to in this video so that in the six month update I can just glaze over it and it will be fine and you won't have to wait if I did it the other way around. Anyway, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, one week ago I lost my uh, main uh, job. I guess I'm calling it my main job because it's, it was the job that was earning me the most and the job that was helping me keep afloat the most, especially since moving to Japan. Um, if you have watched uh, the video that is now private but a little update about my mental health was that money was really really tight and then I was looking to add maybe another job uh, to like tie everything together but instead of finding another job I have lost my main job. So let me get a little bit into that. Um, I'm gonna try and well obviously since it does concern other people I can't give you all the details. I myself to this day do not know all the details as well either I mean. So uh, for privacy's sake for the people I'm going to mention I'm gonna try and keep it um, from as much as from my point of view as I can. The window is open today so hopefully it won't be too disturbing but it's a very beautiful day I don't have the air conditioning on I have the window open anyway um okay where where do I start why does my nose start running every time I start filming a video I don't know nervousness or something I don't know so I've had this job I haven't even told you what this job is it's because I'm uh, I feel weird about saying this um, which I, I shouldn't be but anyway my job is a video, can you see how nervous I am? My job is a video editing job for one client. This one client is made up of two people. What I was talking to one of these girls uh, directly. I don't really know this second girl. Um, so yeah, video editing mainly and then I was helping them with virtual managing. So mainly uploading their content to their various platforms online. So I have been doing that maybe just under a year and whatever they earned, I earned a percentage of that. Sometimes it was more, sometimes it was less. It wasn't a huge amount but it was like, it was something. Uh, it was definitely more than I earn with YouTube, Patreon and my art commissions combined monthly. So it was something, not enough to pay rent but you get the gist, right? So now is where it gets a little bit more juicy um, because this is something that I haven't told many people. I am open about it. I don't mind talking about it with, I don't know, like to make people chuckle a little bit or to make like the, to spice up conversation. Some people in my family group already know about it. Some people in my friend, in my friend group already know about it. But for some, it will be a big surprise. I don't know. I don't think my mother knows. So she'll probably discover this through this video, which is a little awkward. But I don't think I could say this directly to her for some reason. Nothing personal. It's just, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't be able to do that. So anyway. <laughs> Uh, I'm stalling here, but um, so yeah, well, during the pandemic, uh, obviously money was really tight and uh, I don't know why I'm giving this whole backstory, like the sub story, but these are the circumstances. So yeah, during the pandemic, I couldn't do my usual like event job and obviously I was still trying to save up for Japan, so I, like I was racking my brain for all these different solutions and scenarios and um, 
at one point I definitely thought that I might start doing OnlyFans. I'm actually back in the situation where I'm like, should I start OnlyFans? I don't know because help. Um, <laughs> but I was definitely uh, looking into the adult industry uh, area for different options of things I could do. I was like, should I sell fit foot pictures? Should I sell my underwear? Should I do OnlyFans? Like, how far am I willing to take it on OnlyFans? Because I still want to continue YouTube and I don't want like a family member is seeing nudes of myself like and would only fans even work if i'm not taking my clothes off com completely if i'm just being sexy and not completely nude or actually doing i'm gonna say corn um this video is probably not gonna be monetized i don't know but i'm just just in case, I'm gonna just use adult industry and corn. Um, would OnlyFans work if I'm not doing full-on corn on camera? Uh, so all these questions. And through a lot of research, I found this website called uh, SW Rolodex, where it's basically Fiverr. So basically where professionals and freelancers with a skill set in like video editing, managing, subtitling, etc, etc can uh, advertise their skill set for SW workers who need help with their content and that's how I stumbled into the adult industry work and I had a few like clients uh, editing their videos mostly, let me remember, yeah mostly video editing, I did some subtitling for some podcasters, um, did I do photoshopping? I don't even know but I know I put like every skill set that I had onto this website and I did get uh, a f few big bookings before uh, getting in touch with my main client with whom I ended up partnering up with and working during a whole almost a whole year it started with like batch editing like they would give me like 10 videos to edit and then I would do that and we got along really well like I said I only talked to one of the two girls they are a lesbian couple who did adult content that like they had a particular niche and a particular um yeah, niche, like category, like if you go on adult websites, they would definitely fit a few of those niche categories. Where was I going with this? Yes, I'm definitely, I'm talking to one of those two girls. She is like my main person of contact and who I worked with the most. I did uh, hop on a video chat and the two girls with her were there, but mainly this one girl. Uh, with whom I spoke to like almost every day and um, worked closely with during our time um, together during this partnership. So um, I started with video editing and then they suggested a partnership where I would continue to video edit, edit but also help with posting to their different websites. I don't think I need to list their websites but they were definitely on the hub, they were on the uh, OnlyFriends and etc etc all those different websites that are out there they were probably on there and it was definitely going well, it was a fun job I could choose my hours, I just had to put like the work in and deliver the videos and post to those websites and keep in touch with them you know like normal job and especially during that standby time uh, when I was waiting for Japan to reopen it was definitely a good thing to keep busy. So just before I moved to Japan, we uh, started getting a lot less business. I don't know if it's because the pandemic chilled out a little bit or whatever, but the bus business wasn't doing so well. And then when I moved to Japan, business got even worse and they had a lot of personal issues and they were busy and that's the point where I was like, okay guys, are we still doing this or not because my livelihood depends on this. Uh, either we continue or I'm gonna find another job and they said no we are into this we're so sorry we had a lot to deal with but from now on we are 100% committed and I myself recommitted and obviously the earnings were really really low which is why I was struggling up till now but we put our heads together and things started going up again and I was things were looking up I was like okay yay we we're back to uh, things looking good and like we had this dip and I was like starting to go back up. I was starting to finally feel optimistic and like trusting them uh, with the workload and they were putting in the hours, I was putting in the hours and it looked like it was gonna work out. But as you know, 
it didn't. I came back uh, from a weekend away in Nikko uh, last week. I checked my messages uh, from them and uh, all hell had broken loose. Uh, that's where I'm not gonna get into detail because it's I, one, I still don't really know what's happening, what's going on. Um, but it's also very private and it's not none of my business but basically uh, that business is over like one day I have a job the next day I don't I guess that's how it works like one day you have a job the next day you're fired but it was like a huge shock yeah so it's been a week now and I've only spoken to them a few times to get things a little bit so sorted but like I said, like they're dealing with a massive thing right now and the business is done, not gonna work out, n not gonna continue, so I need to figure shit out for myself, which I've been doing, I've had job interviews, uh, nothing conclusive yet, but fingers crossed, looking for a new job like as fast as I can because oh my goodness, I'm so screwed. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much what happened to my job working in the adult industry. It was fun while it lasted. The question I get asked all the time was like, so are you just turned on all day every day because you're literally watching corn having to edit it? And I'm like, no, it's a job. Like, it's like saying, like when I was drawing like nude people in my art classes, don't you get turned on by seeing these naked people? No, it's, I'm in school, I'm focusing, I'm studying, I'm drawing. Same with this. No, I'm working. I'm not wearing my horny hat. I'm <laughs> I am working. I don't know. Like I don't know why people get so confused. But no, it's it's a it's a job. I can I can see two naked bodies during doing their thing, and, and I'm worried about how the cuts are gonna um, get to get, like mesh together. Um, and I'm worried about like saturation, is the room too dark, where is the lighting, uh, how's the sound? No, I'm, I've got my work hat on and I'm trying to think from the point of view of the viewer, like how can I make this hotter, like you know? I don't get horny, <laughs> I don't get turned on while I'm doing my job. Um, but yeah, it was fun like while it lasted, there were ups and downs. I'm really really bummed about it happening now because of how messed up and tight money is I'm not gonna cry <laughs> I'm really bummed out that it's happening now because I'm trying to live my dream here and I'm gonna have to get a job that I don't necessarily have much interest for but I mean that's life I guess but like my dream for so long has to be has been to live off my own creativity in my own art and I feel like I'm taking a step backwards but Anyway, a week has passed, my emotions have settled, I was like bawling a lot at first, I felt like I was I'm mourning my dream, um, but I mean, it is what it is, and I know looking back it'll be like my fun little stint in the adult industry world, and maybe, maybe there'll be more work coming from that industry, who knows? Maybe I'll find other clients, but at the same time it's like, you know what, it wasn't stable, it was fun, and I was lucky to find those, those people because they were really kind and etc etc but I think it's time to move on um, yeah <laughs> so yeah I think that's all I can say I just wanted to give that little update because I have been going on about it on my Instagram stories like I lost my job what am I gonna do I'm still in that state I'm still waiting for responses from my interview, like that's the worst part, like come on guys, can't you see, I, I, I need this right now. <laughs> but yeah, I'll probably try right now to get a, a job as an English teacher and if that doesn't work, probably customer service, which I hope not because I've done that for so many years and I really don't like it, but it's a means to an end I guess if I want to stay here in Japan. Um, even if I give it my all for YouTube and art, it will not be enough, fast enough. So, I gotta go where the money is. Uh, gotta be an adult, I gotta... I can cry about it, but I still have to do it. So, yeah. I hope the title wasn't too clickbaity. I mean, it probably was. You probably 
all expected me to work in corn and uh, be a total corn star but no i'm just the person on the other ha side of the screen um taking care of, of things i'm just i'm just the manager i'm just the editor but it was fun nonetheless bummed out but there you go a little story time for you